well ventilated space. Uh, sometimes even a face mask is a good idea. So let's get the fire started. Fireside up or master tonic. The shock that the world is requiring to boost the immune system. So we'll start with onions. These are a nice little selection. Horseradish, turmeric. If you don't have a supply of horseradish, you can use the great, maybe you've got the great moringa tree growing in your area or in your garden. You can use the root, the moringa root from the tree, which you'll get mass of. And that's what we've got there. We've got some of the moringa root. And a little bit of a massage. What else will we add? Some smashed garlic. Chilies. Nice little selection of garden chilies. I have some garlic shoots there, some wild garlic shoots, but they're not they're not a necessity if you don't have have those. Oh sorry, a little bit more chili. Salsa, so many things that you can do with it. 
I love it in, mixed in with my um, roast veggies. So that will just get put into the fridge and that's just been strained there in muslin. And that will be bottled and that's your fire cider. Now when you start having your fire cider, you can have it each day. Start with a tablespoon, just a little tablespoon like this. That's all you need to start with. Now there is a trick to having your fire cider. Uh, put it in your mouth, hold it under your tongue. Get your, um, get your vagus nerve working, which is very good for your immune system as well. Very good for the gut. So rather than just down the hatch with it, give it a really good gargle. So blah, blah, gargle away for as long as you can hold it in your mouth and then let it go down. Then when you get used to it, you can come up to like a little shop glass full. Uh, good time to have it is just when you wake up in the morning. Any time's okay. Uh, if you've got, the, if you can feel the lurgy coming on, you can increase that up to like four to five times a day. And for children, of course, do a lot smaller dose. Uh, gut goddess tip is if, if it's too burning in your mouth, too hot, uh, follow it with a little bit of, say, milk kefir. That will stop that heat. That there is our coconut kefir, and it has it's a second ferment, and it has lemon myrtle and tamarind. Oof. Or if you don't have that available, you could use, say, a little slice of your fermented um, ginger. The brine in your fermented ginger is from lime, so you can even just use a little bit of the lime in there. Or just, just a little wedge of, say, a lemon or a lime. That will, that will certainly curb any heat if you're having a problem with heat to start with. Once you get that down to pack, you can change all, all your ingredients. You can make lots of different varieties of fire cider. This one here is my forage greens. So you can see it is actually green. It's got wild greens, matcha, chili, horseradish. 